Hey, North Carolina youth, this is Brandon Campbell uh, from Neon Trees. I hope you guys are having a great youth conference. I wish I could be there in person with you, uh, but we're blessed with technology, with Skype. Uh, so this, this is what you get. Um, but uh, for me, I actually uh, learned about the church in high school uh, by going to a youth conference. Some friends of mine invited me, uh, and so youth conference is very special to me, uh, and I'm just glad that I can be uh, uh, there with you guys uh, through spirit and technology. Uh, I had some friends, uh, one of them actually uh, became my, was my future wife, became my wife. Um, but it's through, uh, through youth conference that there was a really just a lasting impression, uh, that was made on me, uh, that, uh, I've, you know, has stuck with me forever. Uh, and it's, it's because of, of good friends, um, and people that were willing to share the gospel and willing to kind of get out of their comfort zone a little bit. Uh, I always call it having spiritual guts. You have the guts to... Uh, you know, to share the gospel. And I was lucky enough to have friends that were, were willing to share that with me and, and drag me out to youth conference. Um, and it was a great weekend. Uh, and yeah, something that's uh, stayed with me forever. Uh, you know, so I, I connect every good thing that's happened in my life is because I made the decision, well, to join the church, but also to go on a mission. And it's because of going on a mission that I met a lot of people uh, that were living in Utah or that were going to move to Utah to go to BYU. And so I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I will go there. Uh, but I also became part of the music scene here, which eventually led to uh, joining Neon Trees. Um, you know, and we were just a local band. We, we didn't know that, you know, uh, things were going to become what they did. But what was important to me is that uh, they were all members of the church. To be in a band that share the same standards that I have uh, and that are important to me, uh, especially as we get out there, you know, and, uh, you know, want to live our lifestyle the way that we want to live. Uh, it's so important to, you know, surround yourself with as many uh, good people as you can uh, that are willing to support your values, yeah. especially being in the music industry. Uh, you know, that it is notorious for being so wild and crazy. But I think the more and more you get out there and you meet people, especially for us, we'd meet people that say, hey, I noticed that, uh, that you guys don't drink. Why is that? And to me, it's like, well, hey, man, that's a, that's a missionary's golden question right there. Like, you know, let me tell you why. Um, but it really comes down to, you know, our, our church membership and, and our testimonies and uh, – but yeah, and, and there's a lot of people that respect that, uh, either because they're respecting you being an individual and being honest with who you are, or there's also a lot of people that have lived a rough life or that have, you know, have partied and they realize like it's not healthy, uh, they want to change, and uh, they're looking for inspiration uh, to make that change in their own lives. And so I think there's a lot of people that are just stoked, uh, you know, to cross paths with us and... Um, you know, and meet this unique band that, uh, you know, happens to be LDS. And it, it took a lot of, a lot of hard work. Uh, we, you know, like any good rock band that you practice, you know, five, six times a week. We also called upon a variety of friends. I have some friends that I grew up with in Las Vegas, um, that had some, uh, you know, a little bit of success as well, uh, in music. They had a, this little band called the Killers. Uh, maybe you've heard of them. And um, they really liked what we were doing and asked if we wanted to uh, do some shows with them. And around that same time, uh, that uh, their record label had, had already, I guess, been you know, checking us out behind the scenes. And then all of a sudden, you know, we're doing shows with one of their biggest bands. And so they were, now they were really curious, like, okay, what's going on here? It was really helpful, and it, it led to you know, getting a record deal. You know, every band gets asked this, you know, how'd you get your band name? Uh, and when you start a band, you never realize like, hey, it's going to be on a marquee or it's going to be on a magazine cover or it's going to be, you know, talked about all the time. Uh, but for us, you know, Neon Trees uh, came, uh, for those of you that aren't uh, initiated out west, uh, there's a, uh, a hamburger chain called In-N-Out Burger. Uh, which is pretty popular because it's kind of started off as more of like a boutique 
you know, uh, independent place. Um, and you know, really that's all they sell like hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fries, that's it, you know? Uh, and I love that they've kept that business model like super simple. So I always figure, Hey, if there's, um, if we're going to be named after a restaurant, at least it's a cool one. Uh, the reason why we got the name is because, uh, their logo being from California is a palm tree. And in, and, uh, in some of the locations they have, um, these palm trees that are made out of neon lights and our singer a long time ago in high school, uh, thought, Hey, that would be a cool band name sometime with the neon palm trees. And, you know, when it actually came time to, uh, needing a band name, uh, he said, you know, Hey, I've always thought neon trees would be a good name. So when I joined the band, he tells me the story. I grew up in Las Vegas and my dad, uh, does all the neon lights for all the big signs in Las Vegas. Uh, he's been doing it for, uh, you know, 30 years now. And I remember when I was younger that he was commissioned by In-N-Out Burger uh, to go out to California and do some work for them. And my dad actually built those in Las Vegas uh, and took them down to Temecula. Uh, that's, that's where it was, Temecula, California, uh, and installed those probably like, you know, uh, early 90s. So even before, you know, Tyler would see those in high school or whatever. Um, so yeah, so my dad actually built uh, and installed those neon lights that later our singer would see um, and be inspired by the band name. So it was really uh, uh, kind of cosmic, you know, the way that, that that came together. One of the, uh, 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 a great experience I had, you know, as, as we go throughout the world and, and people, you know, people realize like, hey, uh, especially members of the church, like realize like, Hey, neon trees, you know, it's a, a, a band that has some, uh, some members of the LDS church in it, some Mormons. And we were playing in South Korea. We're playing this huge music festival and there is, you know, 15 to 20,000 people there and we're rocking out. It's a great time. I mean, it, it, it couldn't have been better. And then in the middle of the crowd, all of a sudden, these these people held up this huge banner that said C T R, with you know, with the shield and everything, you know, and thought, how how do they know? Like we're you know we're in uh, you know we're in Seoul, Korea, and <clears throat> come to find out that uh, they were members of the church there in Korea, and uh, they had found out about us because they were exchange students at BYU. Uh, and came out to BYU for a short time. And so they were stoked that the Mormon band was, you know, coming to play this rock festival, whatever. So they, you know, they wanted to show us some love. Uh, we met them afterwards. That's how we found all this out. Cause we're like, who are those people? We have to meet them. Um, and yeah, it was, it was the coolest feeling uh, of, of, you know, of any show that I've done because, you know, to be that far across the world and have people, you know, recognize like, Hey, uh, you're, you're LDS. Uh, and so are we. And it's that, that bond, um, you know, that the, the church, while, you know, it's so it's global and it's, and it's huge, uh, that you, you know, you feel that connection. Yeah. You know, after my mission, I actually tried steering away from music. I thought there's no place for, uh, you know, someone like me, uh, in the entertainment business, you know, there's so many, you know, so many bad people, I thought. Uh, and then I realized, this, you know what, there's good and bad people in everything. That the world in, in different professions need good people. Uh, they need to know that members of the church uh, have the same interests of that as, as them. And that, uh, you know, there's, there's something special about us, you know. And that as, as people get to know you, and get to know you for your craft, but also, you know, for your lifestyle and for your values, um, you can make a really positive uh, difference in a lot of people's lives. Uh, so I encourage you, uh, you know, to, you know, follow that path that you're on. Um, and just remember that it's, it's important to be you, to be the best you, um, and not just publicly, but privately as well. Um, and that, People are going to like having you around, and uh, and I think that's one of the most important things is being you know being someone 
uh, that uplifts others. Because I want that too. I want to be around people like that as well. And I think that if we're all working on that and working to, you know, uplift each other uh, and, and go that extra mile, that um, you're, you're going to see success. So here I have uh, the, the first Book of Mormon that was given to me. Um, my wife gave this to me way back before she was my wife. Uh, we were in uh, our junior year in high school and had been friends for a couple years. And, you know, she realized that she had something very important and, you know, wanted to share that with me. So I remember she came to me and she said, here, pick out a picture a favorite picture of me, and I thought, well, I don't know what this is for. I probably would have picked a different one, but I always thought that picture was uh, was really uh, was really cute. But yeah, as you can see in here, that she wrote her testimony uh, in there, um, and yeah, and it's, it even says here, if I could give you the most valuable, treasured, most sought after gift on earth, it would be this book. So here it is. The reason it is all these things is because it's the only true thing known to man, uh, which, yeah, which I, uh, I agree with. But, you know, like I said that, uh, you know, she had the spiritual guts uh, to share this with me. You know, if we can just talk, you know, uh, honestly here that it could be so easy to be bad and just do what everyone else is doing. Um, <clears throat> And you have to ask yourself, you know, why, why are you doing that? You know, why are you striving to be good? You know, and you, just, you know that you feel good when you make those decisions. You know that you feel good when you follow the Spirit. Because there's a million other things that you could be doing, and a million other things that could distract you and take up your time. They don't even have to be bad things, uh, you know, but a lot of things that could distract you. Um, but that's why we have to have... Uh, the Book of Mormon, and we have to uh, take time to read these things, uh, you know, the scriptures, because you're doing it now. You're thinking about what you read on Facebook or what you saw on Instagram or what you saw on Twitter or what you saw on TV or if you're into video games uh, or the magazines that you read. Uh, you're thinking about those things, and it sits in there, and that's why you need to um, – you need this to be in there. Uh, with it, with those thoughts and help balance everything out. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm so grateful for the gospel uh, in my life. And it's important that you remember that you matter uh, in all that you do. Uh, I think that's something that a lot of, a lot of young people struggle with these days uh, is, is, you know, feeling like that there's so much, you know, cool and, and, and you know, great things out there. And what am I going to do that even compares to that? Um, but just know that you do matter, whether you feel the pressure now or not, um, that as you keep getting busier in life, that you're going to need the spirit with you. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to be a member of this church. Please don't ever take that for granted, uh, because it's a wonderful thing we get to be part of, of, you know, this, this church. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.